Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And I'm gonna go over how to grease your wheel bearings. So I had a subscriber tell me about this kit you can buy on eBay. You should uh, grease your rear wheel bearings at least, at least every oil change, I would say, or once every 2,000 miles, uh, depending on how much you ride. Bought the Sportsman at a, at a dealership and it's been sitting for over a year. And as I've been going over everything, I've been greasing everything up. I got the whole uh, front axle shafts and the front drive shafts or prop shafts lubed up. They all have grease zerks on it, kind of like what's right here. I'm gonna go over how to take this apart and lube everything up. And here's the uh, wheel bearing greaser that I bought. I was told from a subscriber that you should buy the uh, wheel bearing grease kit with the grease zerks on each side because otherwise only one side will get greased up or spin it while you're greasing it up because grease will only come out on one side. So I've done this once before and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this apart so we can lube up that wheel bearing. In the past I've replaced them. But this time I want to just try greasing them up. A subscriber told me about this uh, wheel, wheel bearing greaser tool that you can buy. So we're going to go from there. So in the picture they show, you can just slide it right on, but the axle's in the way, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. It actually works out good because then I can grease up all this stuff. Flat out. All right, so just so you know, this is a split bearing. So the grease will actually go right in between here. I don't know if you can see it from that way. So in the past, I would just push these out with a press and replace them. This one actually makes a little click, click, click noise, and I think it's been, because it's been sitting for a year, hasn't been driven, I think this just needs to get greased up. Put that in here. And go to town. One guy said he, had to pump it like 20 times to get it good and greased up. You might be right. So now I'm going to spin it this way so I get grease on the other side. There we go. Let's see it's coming out. There we go. Grease is coming out the other side now. It's also actually pushing the bearing out. So I don't want too much grease in there. If you can see in the camera, right between the bearing where it's split, grease just pushed in there, pushed out the other side. Also keep in mind, when you put this back together, there's also a grease zerk right here. So when you get that back together, it's gonna grease up these bushings. All right, so 
he was correct. It took me about 15 times to, I just want to check these out right away. It took about 15 pumps to grease the wheel bearing. But I like to make sure I put this back together. Just throw a little grease on there and go back together nice and easy. These are actually in good shape. Normally there's a groove worn in them. So. This thing's only got 2,000 miles on it, so. Maybe that's why. All right, let's get this bad boy back together. <clears throat> and I like to put a little Loctite on the, the end of the bolts, just make sure everything is good. I'm using red Loctite, but you can use blue. If my memory serves me right, these are torqued on to 30 foot pounds. Just snug everything up and then I'll torque it afterwards. See how the grease came out? Let me show you. Grease came out with it, so this bearing should be nice and lubed up. I'm gonna go through, torque everything, put everything back together. Make sure you put the right amount of shims back in. Number two on there. Your nut and your cotter pin. So that's how you disassemble everything and grease up your rear wheel bearings. So I guess this would be my product review. I mean, this wasn't bad. I mean, yeah, I had to spin it this way to get both sides, otherwise too much grease came out of one side. 15 to 20 pumps is what it took me. I think I paid 30 bucks for this kit. Yeah, wheel, wheel bearing greasing tool. You can buy them on eBay. And that's how it's done. So I'm gonna get this uh, put back together and, and do the other side. So I got everything back together and while I'm this far, let's grease everything else up. There's a grease jerk here, one on the other side, one up here. Um, there was one up here, here and here. And a lot of guys complain about the old Polarises. I like them. As long as you keep them maintained and greased up, it'll last you a long time. But there's just guys that just 
want to ride them hard and put them away wet. And they complain that axle shafts bust and everything else goes wrong. You know, it's just like a car, you gotta maintain it. I like to try to keep my machine clean, wipe off any excess that's sticking out, otherwise mud and dirt's gonna get, hang up on it. And this side's good to go. That took all of 15 minutes. It actually took me longer because I needed to record it for you guys to see, but yeah. Not even 10, 15 minutes and I'm done. Now I'll do the other side. And I should be good to go. My uh, little tick tick noise from the wheel bearing should go away. And that's how it's done. So hey, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I've got over 250 Polaris repair videos out there. With this wheeler, I had to clean the carb, replace the choke cable, grease everything up all the way around. She runs and rides nice for only having 2,000 miles on it. All right guys, until next time.